We're back in the Yorkshire Dales, this time with Gary and Debbie. Hello. And today we are off in search of beautiful dales, beautiful villages, and we're chasing waterfalls. Don't go chasing waterfalls. It's to the, to the rivers to and the streams that you used to. I don't know if that's the way that song goes. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember. Um, we are, okay, addendum comment. We're also chasing the birds. Birds yeah. of the actual bird variety, not women. Gary is an avid bird watcher, so we're uh, in search of new birds for him to add to his life list. Already have the first one of the day, a red grouse. Good job. Overlooking the village of Muker and the River Swale. Ooh, as we drive on the bumpy road through Swaledale. some fighting going on there. We are entering the village of Wreath, looking for food in hopes of finding dinner. We arrived in Wreath and finally found a place that was still serving food for dinner. But I don't want to say where because I'm sorry to report I did not like the food. And typically, I only like to give food reviews of food we really enjoy. But I do have to mention one thing about our dinner. The place was pretty celiac friendly, which was great for our friend Gary, as he was able to have a delicious gluten-free sticky toffee pudding, which ended up being the only one he had on his whole trip to England. So that was the highlight of the meal. I enjoyed stopping in Wreath, though, because it was a lovely village with beautiful views of the scenery around it. Hills and stone walls and cattle grazing in fields. It also had this spiffy vintage triumph in British racing green. How do you like that? The next morning, our exploration of the Dales continued, along with our search for waterfalls and interesting birds. We also discovered that Gary wanted to try catching a sheep because as a child, he would visit his grandmother on her farm and she would always tell the kids not to chase the sheep because it would give them diarrhea. This was likely just a story she made up because Gary is from a large family of seven boys and one girl. I'm sure grandma didn't want Gary and all his siblings running around her farm like maniacs disturbing the livestock. But since Gary has been deprived of seeing a sheep up close as a child, when we encountered this group of nice fluffy sheep right by the side of the road, Gary asked Ian to stop the car so he could approach them. Of course, at the first sight of Gary, they took off running in the opposite direction. Not sure if any diarrhea resulted afterwards, but it became a joke for the rest of the trip. We didn't visit any castles on this trip through the Dales, though we did spot a couple in the distance, like this one, which I believe is Bolton Castle, and this castle in the Richmond Town Center, which was not too far from the Airbnb where we were staying. If you missed the video of the fabulous Airbnb where we stayed, please check that out. I will link it in the description. Now we are driving through Wensleydale, and uh, some of us are interested in cheese. That's it, cheese. We'll go somewhere where there's cheese. I want cheese. <laughs> but Ian has not agreed to take us to the Wensleydale Cheese Factory. In 300 yards, turn left. We might be lobbying for that. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Wensleydale. <laughs> We made an unplanned stop because Ian just saw a waterfall as we were driving by this mill. So we're seeing if we can come back and see it. The mailman just came by and I asked him the name of the falls and he said Aesgarth Falls. 
This is the parish church of Aesgarth and their churchyard cemetery with sheep grazing around in between the headstones. We don't have time to go visit the church, but it looks really pretty and kind of big. We're here in West Burton to see the Cauldron Falls, and we'll see if Gary can spot either of these birds that allegedly live around here. These falls have been famous ever since William Turner sketched them in 1816. You can understand why Turner sketched here. This place is gorgeous, very picturesque. And speaking of pictures, we took quite a few of those here. Gary has just spotted something up in this tree. Okay, so, so, so tell, me, <laughs> tell me what birds you saw, Gary. A wagtail. Bobbing little tail, it's got yellow on it. Uh -huh. Never seen that before, life lister. I'm not sure what the one over here. It may have been a marsh tit, but we'll see. Everything's a life lister, it's glorious here. Yay! This looks like it would be a great swimming hole. Now it's time to explore West Burton a bit a beautiful place in the Yorkshire Dales that was voted best kept village in 2015 and is famed for being one of the loveliest villages in England. We parked here along the green in West Burton and it really is quite a pretty village. Lots of homes with beautiful bright roses against the dark stone. War Memorial is really interesting looking because it looks like the top of a church steeple. And at the base of it, it looks like some old stocks. Upper Wharfdale is where we are now. We were fascinated by this construction style that we saw a lot in this area. Stone homes with bits of stones sticking out in horizontal lines, only two or three feet apart. At first we thought it was beams for floors, but then realized it was closer together than that, since this is a two-story home, not eight stories. Let me know in the comments if you've noticed this architectural style before. This cliff face is a favorite location for rock climbers. It's fun to spot them as we drive along the road nearby. That is something I could never even contemplate doing though. Just terrifying. What are your thoughts on rock climbing? Let me know. I'll end this video with our drive up to the edge of Grassington. Stay tuned for the next road trip episode that will take us for a tour of Grassington's town center, as well as some other filming locations for the most recent version of All Creatures Great and Small. I hope you enjoyed our drive through a few different areas in the Dales in this video. Thanks so much for watching and do something good in the world today.